guys, I thought we could have a little bit of a chat today. Usually I do a favourites video, well sometimes I do a favourites video, but my favourites don't change that much. But I like the chatty sit down format of the favourites, so I thought I would take that and we could just have a bit of a chat. Some of the things that I have been really enjoying recently has, has been hot chocolate. Um, I just can't get enough hot chocolate. I made a video a few years ago about my favourite hot chocolates and it hasn't really changed that much. If you're aware of any new brands of hot chocolate or anything else that has come out, let me know. I have been disappointed a few times when I've gone out for hot chocolate at coffee shops that make their hot chocolate with water instead of milk. It's just not the same. You get through all the lovely cream and then it's disappointing when you get to the watery chocolate at the bottom, which is made with powder. Not so good. Okay, there is something else that I've been loving and it's a, an odd thing to share. It's this cloth. It's called the Wiz Scourer. It's from Lakeland. It was expensive, seven pounds. I've had it for about six weeks, maybe a couple of months. And it's just amazing. I've been really trying to cut down on cleaning products and trying to use reusable cloths and things where possible. I had to go at knitting my own dish cloths they didn't really do the trick. They weren't very absorbent. They weren't very abrasive. I bought a cheap pack of cotton cloths. I think I've actually got one here. I'm, I'm still using these. They are useful, but they're no good for really cleaning dishes or for like heavily soiled things because they get holes in them really quickly and they don't last. So I was looking around for what to use and this cloth came up and it's really good. It's really abrasive turning into like an SMR video now and um, it's really abrasive so it's really good for dishes but because of all of the holes in it it dries really quickly so you don't get that like smelly damp dishcloth sitting at the side of the sink the reviews for it were amazing it reminds me um of the nets that like oranges come in but it's it's much more abrasive than that I don't know how long it's going to last for because it is fraying a little bit, if you can see it there along the edge. But I would hope that it will last a lot longer yet. I really like it. I'm thinking about getting one for the bathroom as well. Um, I have been on a cleaning frenzy recently. I just want to clean everything. A while ago there was the whole thing with Mrs Hinch who is an Instagrammer who does a lot of cleaning and I feel like I watched so many videos of people buying cleaning stuff and then I have just wanted to do to clean things all the time. Um, I don't know if it's pregnancy related or it's just because there are so many cleaning videos out there at the moment. I find them really satisfying. Even some of the um, ASMR videos of people just scrubbing things. I don't know, I may have a bit of a problem. But yeah, this has been a really good cloth. And I like that it's lasted so long because we used to always use the sponges for dishes and I would wash them maybe once or twice through the washing machine, but we would throw them out quickly. They'd, they'd probably only get like a week's worth of scouring and, and use. And they were very cheap, but I think I worked out um, for the £7.70 that this was, I could have bought 170 of the sponges and I don't know how long 170 sponges would have lasted, like three years probably. I doubt very much this is going to last three years. So it's not really um, a monetary thing but at least I'm not throwing out all of those cloths so that is good. I briefly mentioned Mrs Hinch. Now she uses a lot of cleaners and different scents and fragrances in her home and that's something I've kind of been trying to step away from. So that's probably why I've been attracted, attracted, is that the right word? <laughs> Drawn to. Um, the next product that I've been lusting after, let's say lusting, <laughs> that sounds best for a mop, um, is the E-Cloth Mop and it's a microfiber mop. So the microfiber has really high density fibers in it so it does a really good job of cleaning and you don't need to use so many chemicals with it you can just use water which I think is is great. Um, I used an e-cloth before and they are really good. I used to work for a household that had an arger and the arger was on all of the time so after you'd finished cooking you couldn't really clean it down because you can't put any cleaning chemicals onto a hot arger and I actually got um, an e-cloth from 
the Arga Rayburn company. It had little abrasive strips through it. You only used it with water and you could scrub down the top of the Arga and it did a really good job. And I remember at the time thinking, wow, this is a really good cloth, which is a weird thing to think. And when Trevor and I first moved in together, I bought um, my microfiber cloth from Clean Easy and I've still got it. I've had it over 10 years. It's, it's longevity is amazing and it still does a really good job. So that also seems really good. But then I was reading about microfiber and apparently the tiny particles in it of plastic, because um, they're usually like a polymide blend, come out when you wash it. A lot like fleecy jackets. And that is really bad. It goes into the water system, it goes into the oceans, it attracts the um, pollutants in the ocean and the fish eat it, and then we eat the fish. And it turns out microfiber is not a very great material to use because of this. But what is? It's, it's, this is a, it's something that I've come up against like loads in my kind of journey to look at more environmentally friendly, sustainable things. You would think it would be really good because you're cutting down on all of your chemicals, all those plastic bottles that they come with, all of the sprays, whatever is in them, and you're not throwing out cloths and things all the time. But then, microplastics. So I just don't know. I don't know what the best thing is. And I find it kind of, um, I, I just get to a point where I can't make a decision. All I want to do is buy a mop, but it just shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> So let me know if you've had um, any experience of like the E um, cloth mops or any of the microfiber type mops or if you've heard that microfiber is actually not a very good material. You know then cotton isn't really that great either because the growing practices, the water that it uses, the, the conditions that the people harvest it in, I, I don't know what the answer is. But the more I research, the more I just end up in this limbo. It's tough. And all I want to do is decide on a floor mop. Okay, let's move on to something um, food related, perhaps, seeing as this is a Foodie Laura channel. I have been craving kale. Like, if you've watched my um, grocery haul videos, then you probably know I've been buying a lot of kale. Um, it's actually the Cavlo Nero which I think is a cabbage, but I don't know what the difference between cabbage and kale is. Maybe, maybe you do. Let me know if you know the difference. Um, I've been dicing that up and just sprinkling it with white pepper and crunching away on it. Anything crunchy I've been really, really enjoying. Um, I've also been enjoying the Nature Valley bars. They are so crunchy. Everything crunchy is really good. What else? TV wise. Oh, the, I think it's just finishing now, but Eat Well for Less. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. It's um, families doing their grocery shopping and helping them to see, see what they cook and helping them to make the most out of the ingredients that they do buy so they don't have too much waste or they're not buying too many branded products. There's loads of episodes on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, I would check it out. It's quite, quite a good one. And I've also been enjoying the videos of like what people ate for dinner and just looking and seeing what just watching people prepare their evening meals or seeing what they ate each week gives me so many ideas for my own meal plan i am planning on doing um like a pregnancy fill the freezer with freezer meals so if you've got any ideas for good good meals that freeze i would really like to to see what want to hear what your ideas are i find that a lot of the freezer meals tend to be quite heavy with the cheese and I like cheese as much as the next person but I'm thinking of filling the freezer with enough meals for 30 days and I just don't want to be eating like a heavy cheesy pasta dish every day so I'm looking more for veggie based soups and stews perhaps so if you've got any ideas for those do let me know below I also wanted to ask you guys for some recommendations. I haven't got a foodie advent calendar yet. So if you've seen any ones that look particularly interesting this year, I would like to hear about them. I did see an advertisement somewhere for Carluccio's, the Italian restaurant, and they had one which looked really good, but it doesn't seem to have become 
available. I don't know if the advert was an old advert. I can't really seem to find out any more information about it now. But it had all different things to do Italian cooking in each day, which seemed quite interesting. I haven't also had very many of the seasonal drinks yet. You know, like Costa and Starbucks do their... Well, pumpkin spice latte is the big one. They have Christmas drinks that come in as well. Have you seen any new seasonal drinks out? I would like always a recommendation for that. And YouTubers. I could do with some new YouTubers to follow. I really enjoy at the moment, as I mentioned, the um, people cooking their dinners and grocery hauls. So let me know if you've got any of those recommendations. Thanks for sitting down and having a little chat with me today. Me having a little chat with you today. And I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye. Bye.